The realm of beasts, Gur, is a predatory land. The mountains hunt each other, oceans rise to consume coastlines. The people of Gur can be savage, hairy or stronger, have more feral features. People who call Gur home can even take on traits of bullying or are fiercely protective of their kin. Only the biggest and baddest predators reside here, which means there is also prey. Excelsis, one of the major cities of Sigmar in this setting, reflects life here in this realm in the same way. Of course, Excelsis has its enemies outside their gates, and the city is located on a sea that threatens to swallow it whole. Its location forces its back against the wall, which is why they must ensure that there are no threats within as well. Gur is a city that has built itself upon survival against threats within, which is why the storm host which occupies the city is none other than the Knights Excelsior. This storm host identifies themselves as a force rather than as individuals. This lack of individualism shields them from the burden their souls would face for the atrocities they commit so that evil does not prevail. The Knights Excelsior have little tolerance for chaos and see the inklings of its existence as a plague that can bring ruin. They deal out merciless purges in a city rich in mystics and prophets. A quarter of the city's population was ridden of life at the hands of Ceres Sentanus, the Stormcast Eternal known by many as the White Reaper. Excesses continues to be preyed upon by outward forces when the city is laid under siege by a Skaven invasion beneath their very foundation, led by Kretsch Wartfang and his incalculable verminous number. Suspicion is wrought by Zinch's manipulations, which leads to the hunting of wizards and elves who would be persecuted for the actions of Marathi and the Daughters of Cain. The Shadow Queen's godly ascension unknowingly birthed Excessa, the Talon of Slanesh, and Sinessa, the Voice of Slanesh. Both of these entities would rile up cults within Excelsis to bring its demise and pronounce dark truths and profane rumors, which in turn led to the persecution of elves from Excelsis. Excelsis' history of persecution for a time saved them, but they let it grow uncontrolled, and instead it was weaponized against themselves. It was through the siege of Excelsis where Kragnos vowed to leave the city in ruin that the people of Excelsis survived through the aid of the Seraphon and Daughters of Cain. Unfortunately, the persecution of elves continues to linger in Excelsis, and the unity between humans, Duarden, and elves is becoming strained as this newfound suspicion of elves has spread throughout the other cities of Sigmar. It is yet to be seen how Excelsis will be shaped in the future within the lore. They have always been seen as a weary prey for the forces outside its walls. What events will transpire in changing the culture of this city for them to be seen as a predator?